very good morning to all of you. So thank you for joining this session. Okay, so yeah, uh, once again, I would like to introduce myself. So my name is uh, Aiman Nordin. So I'm an application engineer at Pretech Solution. So uh, for today webinar, we will uh, we will be uh, introduce you how to uh, with this title uh, improving design automation with Autodesk Inventor iLogic. Okay. So I hope everyone can hear me clearly and see the slides that I share with you all. Okay. So without further delay, let's start with uh, the objective. So the objective for this uh, today webinar is we would like to know uh, what is uh, actually an iLogic and how does iLogic really works and how can we implement it. Okay. And I will also show you guys uh, with some live demonstration for more clear picture. Okay. I mean, can you, uh, your voice is not too clear. Can you uh, speak more loudly? Okay, 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 sure. Sorry about that. Okay, so um, actually what is uh, an iLogic? Okay, so iLogic is one of the intelligent features inside the Autodesk Inventor that allow rules-driven design. Okay, and it also provides you the simplest way to capture and reuse your standard design. So it will be much easier to automate the changes in design and configure your virtual product. Okay. So actually, when uh, does we use uh, and the allergic will be uh, useful to us? Okay. Usually in manufacturing design field, we always use like 80% same standard design all the time. Okay. So the thing that distinguish uh, between each of the product is the specs, like example, uh, the height, uh, number, the size of the holes, uh, number of screws, and others, okay? And so when we want to make this kind of changes, and if we still use the same procedure like we do it from scratch, it will take a lot of time and take too much reliance upon the internal expertise, okay? So it will be delay your project, and yeah, this kind of uh, problem doesn't include it with the communication and interpretation errors, okay? And finally, we end up losing the market share due to limited time development, okay? So actually, by using Allergy, it will uh, increase the time uh, of your development so that it can be much more faster rather than you, you use. If you want to make some changes, you do it uh, uh, like from the scratch or you do it uh, instantaneously, but it will provide you, it will give you some kind of problem and errors, okay? All right. So... Um, so the complete solution uh, for those challenges is by using iLogic inside Inventor, okay? I hope everyone inside uh, this uh, session is uh, familiar or have been or been uh, one of the user of the Inventor. So actually, it's, it's, it's not a big deal if you come uh, from a different cat because actually uh, this kind of solution is very, very useful. Okay, if you are in terms of working in uh, in a design uh, field or in manufacturing field, okay. So uh, iLogic, which is basically will provide an easy to use interface that enables the design automation by tweaking some rules that can drive the geometry, okay. And okay, as you can see at the slide right here, you can see that there are two parts inside here, okay. So actually, it is a same model, but it it, it different in terms of length and also the thickness. Okay, so if you want to make a changes from part one to part two, okay. So if we do it like normally, usually need to add the thickness. We need to add the extrusion, and we need to edit the extrusion value inside the the original part. But what we can do is we also can add some rules inside the allergic, like I stated, like we have stated in the box, okay? We can state that uh, some kind of coding, the rules, actually it's, it's just a simple coding, so uh, it's not a complicated one, okay? So you can state that uh, inside the rules, uh, if the length of the part is more or less or more or equal to 60 and length, and length is less than 80, then the thickness of the part will be 1.5 millimeter. Okay, else if, if the length is more or equal to 80 and length is less than or equal to 100, then the thickness will be 3.0. And you also can state it that 
else if the length or less than 60 or more than 100 so the valid uh, the, the changes cannot be made because the it is an invalid entry okay all right so um okay so what actually the uh, benefit uh, when we use uh, the allogic for we call it as a design automation is uh, the benefit is we can uh, enable the relationship between parametric inside the uh, geometry and then we can use uh, the standard enforcement into the model so that we any kind of design or any kind of uh, we have any model we can make it as a standard so when we want to make some changes we also we always refer back to the standard or we call it as a master model so we just need to add some value need to change the value inside a uh, like some kind of table so that one i will show to you uh, the live demonstration after this and then this kind of ilogic um, uh, features will uh, be much easier for you to do the product configuration uh, even though your product is not uh, finished yet uh, or you want to make it like a virtual product so it will be much easier for you to make it uh, the product configuration okay all right so um yeah enough uh, for the talking right now so it's early in the morning maybe uh, you guys is more interested to see what actually how uh, the inventor uh, really works uh, inside uh, how the allergic really work inside the inventor okay so i will share i will turn uh, my screen to the uh, inventor okay so yeah i hope uh, all of you can see uh, my inventor that i have been open up so actually this is uh, we call it as, as as a master model okay. um, uh, yep. I, we can we cannot see your inventor screen Oh, sorry. Okay, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I forgot to share. Uh... Yeah, okay. Okay, clear. All right, okay, yeah. All right, uh, so actually, uh, I have opened up, I have ready up uh, the master model. Okay, so uh, right now we have uh, this uh, sync assembly. Okay, so actually this is uh, like we call it as a master model. Okay, so yeah, I know that some of you guys is, is a user of the uh, inventor. Uh, yeah, if you are not familiar with it, with the inventor, actually this is the new interface for the inventor 2020. Okay. So actually, uh, the Inventor 2021, actually the next, uh, the next version actually is nearly on the way. So it, maybe it will come out, uh, maybe uh, another two weeks or yeah, another one weeks uh, from uh, from today. Okay. So so this is the uh, interface uh, for the uh, Inventor 2020. Okay uh all right so right now we have a master model right here so you can see that uh this model has been uh, assembled by using a sheet metal okay so actually this uh, master model has been driven by uh, i open up the sync master okay so actually uh, this part has been driven by this work plane okay so actually this work plane have the uh, the properties Okay, the custom okay so it have the depth height and width for this one okay so when i change the value inside the depth width and width uh, for this one uh, it will be instantaneously it will uh, uh, it will change the demo uh, it will change the master part right here master assembly right here okay so okay so what actually I would like to do first is uh, you can see that this uh, kind of sync assembly doesn't have a front door panel so i will create a new front door panel uh, inside uh, this uh, master assembly okay uh, and then you can see that uh, inside the master assembly we have already assigned the user parameter okay so the user parameter is uh, we can just easily do it by adding some numeric or add text inside this uh, parameter Okay, and then it will show you the value for the sync assembly. Okay, all right. 
so right now I will create a new um, uh, a new part. Okay, usually we can use uh, we can create a new part. Okay, and then we derive it uh, from the uh, the master the sync master that we have. Okay, so from the front uh, demo. Okay, so right now by using the sync master. Okay, actually this has already uh, set the work pane. So any any changes that made by this pane, okay, like example, I change the changes uh, between uh, the height, okay, it will be instantly changed for the master part, okay. All right, so right now I will create a new front door panel, okay, at this surface, at this uh, plane, okay. So please be mind that this is uh, the sheet metal environment, okay, for this part. So I just going to draw a rectangle here, and then yeah, nevertheless, uh, the size of it because I will uh, set this value to fifty. It means that it will be um, uh, it will be aligned to this work plane that I have. So whenever I change this work plane, uh, this kind of sketch also uh, will be changed immediately, right? So yeah, this is um, so I have draw the rectangle for this one, and then I will do some face. Okay, so like example, if you want to change the sheet metal default, okay. So uh, usually, uh, currently I use the thickness for the sheet metal is one millimeter, and then yeah, using the default band table. Okay, and then you can see uh, the changes right here. Okay. Um, the changes right here, uh, you can see that um, uh, there is some features for the sheet metal. Okay, so I would like to uh, face the sheet metal uh, to inwards. Okay. All right. Okay, so right now we have already have a sheet metal right here. Okay, now I would like to do some plunge. Uh, to this uh, four of the side, okay. Okay, and do some flash uh, from over here. Change the distance to fifty one. Okay, so need to do some enclosure for this part. Okay, I do some plunge again. Okay, so yeah, I can join uh, this uh, band of the sheet metal. Maybe I need to do some changes right here. Okay, so I would like to join um, the
All right. So now I have the uh, front um, front panel for the same assembly. Okay. So I can turn it uh, off this visibility for the surface. Okay. Can and then I can save it. All right. So now um, since we have. So now we have the, um, I have a view, uh, the part of the assembly uh, along with the, uh, the, the front panel that I have been, and then this is uh, the, uh, the master part that uh, we, uh, the master scene, okay. So since uh, we are not assigning uh, the front demo, uh, the front panel, okay, uh, the dimension, okay, even though we doesn't assign it, uh, and then I want to make changes at the uh, master scene right here. Okay. Um, like example, I change the. Um, and then you can see, okay. So uh, the, the front panel is already in the master uh, scene right here. And then it, I will do some updating. And now you can see uh, the changes that have been made uh, when I change the master part, which is the parameter, change the width, and then the front demo and the, the master part, uh, the master scene will be changed uh, automatically, okay? So now come to, uh, come to the part where we're going to make uh, the, uh, the rules uh, inside uh, this uh, master part, okay? All right. So we can uh, turn on the iLogic features uh, inside the inventor, okay? So right now I will add some rules inside this one, okay? I just do a quick Okay. So yeah, we will need to do some kind of uh, just a simple coding, okay? But uh, don't worry. So the coding doesn't need you uh, do it from the scratch because actually inside this uh, uh, inventor iLogic rule, you can add uh, actually the parameters that are already listed down here and then you can import it into your rules section, okay? So firstly, what I would like to do is I would like to add uh, since we are controlled by the sync master, I would like to add the, the parameters, the model parameters from the sync master. Okay, but I will change this uh, value to um, okay. So since this one is using the parameter sync master def, so I will use this one. Okay. So right now we have already uh, have the um, so for example I save and run this one okay and I go back to the user interface the parameter so we have uh, the width the depth and the height okay so if I change the value so the size of this uh, master will be changed accordingly. For example, I change the height to, so you can see that uh, some kind of, yeah, it will be load because it will make your part master to be changes, okay? So yeah, so it will come out like that, okay? So if we go back to the master assembly, actually inside the sync assembly, we have like some kind of uh, another assembly tweet. Like example, uh, you can see that uh, the assembly actually suppress the wheel assembly at the bottom right here. So if I turn on one of the uh, features right here, uh, suppress back, actually it is a wheel. 
okay, inside the C, uh, inside the master assembly, okay. But right now, I would like to um, suppress this one, and then yeah, I would like to make uh, editing inside the row, okay, so that we can control the assembly for the master part. So I go back to the iLogic and then I would like to edit the rules. Um, so go back to this one and then I can uh, add some rules uh, if, then, and, and if, okay, like this one, okay. So yeah, by using the user parameters. Okay, uh, before that, yeah, I forgot to add the parameters, okay, which is the type for the assembly, the type of the legs, okay. So we can add, so currently this is the user parameter that we are using with depth and height, okay. So I would like to add uh, the type for the assembly. So I can change the type and then this one I can, okay, make a multi-use, multi-value, uh, which is the first one is the stools and the second one is the wheel. Then add to this one. Okay, so now we have two kind of option, and then we have stools and wheel. Okay, so go back to the I logic, and I would like to add uh, the edit the rules box. Okay, then the first impression we would like to add the type. Okay, so you can just uh, capture the current state, and then you can bring the type, which is the first one, which is the stool. Okay, I can just copy this one and then paste to the other expression. All right. So right now, okay, after I have um, uh, make the type for the stools, so I now go to the model parameter. Okay, so this is uh, all the uh, the model browser. Okay, and then I can enable which part of the assembly that I want to turn off or which part of the assembly that I want to be hidden, uh, I want to be show. Okay, so I can just copy the assembly for this one, which is the legs. Okay, All right. So for the first part, uh, for the component, uh, which is the leg or the stool, this one which we, we will uh, need to show whenever we select the stool uh, option. Okay, so I will left uh, these uh, features to be true. Okay, and then, I go to the wheel assembly. So this one will be false. Okay. All right. So that is uh, the first option, which is when we select the type of the knee, this one will be stool. Okay. So for the next one, we, we insert else if, okay, which is the next expression will be the copy this down. Then I change this one to wheel okay so and then i can copy this down again yeah and then uh, what i need to change is i need to change the tools to be false And then this uh, assembly for the wheel will be true. Okay, so yeah, uh, I think my uh, my rule is already completed, and then I can hit save and run. So if your rule is already uh, right in correct order, so there will be no problem to you to hit the save and run. If there are some kind of mistakes, it will uh, let you know, and then you need to make some editing into it. All right. Okay, so now we have the rules. Okay. And then we go to back to the model or we go back to the parameters. Then we can see that uh, we can change the type of this one to make it as a stool or wheel. Okay. So like example, okay, right now we can see that if I select the stools, then you can see the model itself will be changed uh, using the stool. Okay. If I select wheel, 
and then you can see at the model it will be select below so this is much easier rather than you go to the model browser then you need to suppress one by one okay so this is must be uh, this is the much faster way lah by using this i logic okay but if you want to make it much more faster we can use the forms okay so we can add a form um, okay so inside the form we can uh, just add the parameters that we have created okay we can bring right here all right okay um, Okay, so we can add uh, one by one to it and then we select the type. Okay, and then uh, after you can change the, the size of the text. You can change the, the kind of value, okay, by using the form right here and then just click OK. All right, so now, right now we have already the form which is much more easier if you want to make some changes into the model. All right, so uh, example, if I want to change the width uh, to 700, so I can just uh, write down 700 into the width. Okay, so after you have uh, do the changes and then uh, this one. Uh, so it will be completed uh, uh, immediately. And then this one I change to 700. Okay. So the changes will be made on your model automatically rather than you edit it by your own self that will be like uh, yeah it will take a lot of time and sometimes it will lead, create a lot of problem and error okay so uh, and then uh, for this one uh, the type of assembly i can choose whether i will use the tools or will okay yeah this is much more faster rather than yeah you need to do uh, the editing one by one Maybe I can show you the completed uh, sync assembly, this one, right? So I can go to this one. So this is already set the form, okay? So you can change. Uh, this one also we have added the door type for this one, whether we want to change it to the door type to be single or double, okay? And then hit apply to see the changes. Then that's it. The, uh, the type of assembly will change accordingly to your inside this kind of form okay so yeah let me try to um, create a drawing right here Okay, so yeah, I think that's all uh, for me uh, regarding the iLogic. So I will not, would like to share my screen back to uh, my slides presentation. Okay. Okay, so I hope everyone can see uh, the slide right here. All right. So, yeah. So, after this, we will open up for the Q&A session. Okay. Um, all right. So, so this uh, inventor features, uh, this iLogic features is actually included uh, inside the inventor. Okay. So, it's already, it's only inside the inventor. And uh, for this uh inventor software you can get it uh, you inside the product design and manufacturing collection actually it is a some kind of uh, solution that have been provided from the autodesk okay so yeah autodesk have taken the tools that be trusted by millions of engineers worldwide like inventor like autocad okay autodesk Nostran and inventor Care. as we speak right now actually autocad just launched the new uh, AutoCAD version, which is the AutoCAD 2021, but uh, the inventor is not come out yet. 
So yeah, maybe yeah, maybe yeah, it's on their way. Okay. So yeah, by using the Autodesk product design and manufacturing collection, you can get all these kind of tools. Okay, the AutoCAD. Okay, and then inside the AutoCAD also we have the uh, AutoCAD specialized tool, which is AutoCAD architecture. If you are working with uh, architecture fill, okay, and then AutoCAD architecture until. Uh, the AutoCAD raster design and mechanical and electrical. Okay, so inside the Inventor Professional, you can do the sheet metal that we uh, that I have shown to you, and then we can do like any other like uh, like a linear stress analysis. But if you want to add more analysis, which is a non-linear stress, you can use Inventor Nasran. Okay, so if you are working with a CNC machine inside the Inventor, also it will add some plugin which is we call it as S Inventor Cam. Okay. That will cover two point five to five edges milling, okay, and yeah, uh, and then we have the inventor nesting for the uh, if you have a laser cutting for your sheet metal, so you can uh, use the inventor nesting, and uh, for the real image view rendering, you can use the three D S Max Interactive, okay, and then you have also the cloud enable. Uh, software which is the AutoCAD mobile app, the Fusion 360, and then the cloud storage up to 25 gig if you subscribe yearly to the Autodesk product design and manufacturing collection. Okay, so yeah, I think uh, that's all for me, right? Okay, so uh, we open up for the Q and A session. Okay, uh, so if you like to, uh, so you need to uh, you can fill in the survey by uh, using your smartphone to scan the QR code that have been provided in the slide okay uh, yeah if you uh, need more information you can uh, visit our 3d tech website okay so yeah Nodina can we uh, open up for the Q&A session uh, thank you Aiman uh, for the presentation Okay, I believe that you now have uh, some idea on the capability of iLogic. Okay, you can uh, unmute yourself to ask the question or you also can write the question uh, in the chatting space. Okay, be, uh, beside that, uh, you um, please feel free uh, to fill out the survey form. Uh, you can using the QR code we shown in the screen. And uh, for further uh, inquiry, please feel free to visit our website www uh, sorry 3 dtechcommy and you also can email us or contact us uh, for uh, further information. Okay, if um, so, is it any uh, question? It's okay uh, if you have any like a further question, you can write uh, us an email. Okay, so uh, if no, uh, no questions, so thank you again for joining um, this webinar. Okay, and um, uh, please be safe and take care and thank you very much.